Welcome to another Smart Cards GED test video tutorial. This tutorial will cover historical governments and democracies, which is aligned with the civics and government assessment target on the GED test. So let's get started. The historical governments and democracies that we will be covering in this tutorial are direct and representative democracies, parliamentary democracies, presidential democracies, and monarchies. In a direct or pure democracy, the government is led by the people and not by representatives of the people. Through debates, deliberations, and votes, laws are established to govern society. A representative democracy differs from a direct democracy in that elected officials or representatives are empowered by the people to debate, deliberate, and vote on laws to govern society. In a parliamentary democracy, the ruling party or the party with the largest representation, as so voted in by the citizens, controls the government as well as the laws that govern society. The ruling party chooses the chief executive officer. However, the judicial system is independent of the other two branches of government. Just as a parliamentary democracy has three branches of government and the citizens vote for representatives, so does a presidential democracy. The difference is that in a presidential democracy, citizens vote for each representative as well as the president. Additionally, each branch of government has a share in the governing of society. Just as a direct democracy is not representative in nature, nor is a monarchy. A monarchy is led by a single person, typically a king or a queen. The monarch may have absolute power or it may be constrained by the legislative body. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a new tutorial next week. And if you're new to the Smart Cards YouTube channel, click the subscribe button.